everyone, it's Amy and welcome back to my channel and another Try It Out Tuesday. If you're new, hi, I'm glad you found us. I hope you decide to stick around. But basically the concept of Try It Out Tuesday is to try out new things and see if they're any good. Today I am very excited because I'm going to be trying out a new brand that I've never tried before. It's a British based brand. It just launched worldwide a few months ago and it's 100% cruelty free, vegan and eco-friendly. They use recyclable jars, part of their profits are donated to environmental protection and as you guys know, all of that stuff just makes me super happy. So I am wanting to love this, but let's see how it goes. So the brand is called Wild Mint and they were actually kind enough to send this on over to me to review for you guys. So let's see what we have in here. Ooh, some decorative paper things. Nice. Cute, it comes in a little like canvas bag. That's cute, that will be useful to me when I'm traveling to just throw things into. Okay, so it comes with this cute little thank you note that says a portion of our profits from your order will be donated to environmental protection. And then it gives you a coupon code for next time, but don't worry, because I got a coupon code that I can share with you at the end of this video anyway. I got you covered. Okay, so this is the Wild Mint Green Tea Clay Mask with Purifying Eucalyptus Oil. And it looks kind of like this if my camera ever wants to focus. There you go. An organic green clay mask that draws out impurities, reduces redness, and improves skin elasticity. It's a soothing facial detox with green tea extract and nourishing botanicals to boost natural radiance. Your girl needs some radiance. My skin is in a questionable place right now. It really has highs and lows. My skin is all over the place right now. It's, it's more that it just feels kind of gross. It's got a lot of weird texture. It's kind of oily. I'm not feeling it. It's definitely not radiant, shall we say. So let's see what this can do. It has all the ingredients listed here. I'm obviously not gonna read them all out, but I like that. I like that I can see exactly what is in this. And I know that there are no parabens or anything that's gonna be like icky and gross for my skin. That's nice. Ooh, okay, that smells really botanically. I like the smell, it's a nice smell. It smells like it's going to be very refreshing on my skin. Let me just tie up my hair so that I don't accidentally make it entirely green. Okay, so the first thing that I'm feeling about this is that it almost feels kind of like a mousse. It's very thick but soft, if that means anything to anyone. It almost reminds me of, if any of you ever, back in the day, I don't even know if they still make it, that Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. That used to be my foundation of life when I was like 16. It kind of reminded me of that for a second. Ooh, you know what? It feels, when you put your finger into it, it feels very thick and moussey, like I said, but then once you apply it to the skin, it thins out and it just glides on very nicely, so that's nice. I have no idea how much is too much. More is more, in my opinion. This doesn't feel like any other clay mask I've used. Firstly, because it is super refreshing on my skin. I mean, I haven't had my aircon on this morning. My room is like an oven. I feel like I'm gonna die in here. And yet, I'm putting this onto my skin and it has this really nice cooling effect, even though it's been sitting in some pretty unbearable heat all morning. It doesn't have that same very thick consistency that my other clay masks do. Like you can see as it's going onto my skin, it's not thick, it's not opaque. It's in my eyebrows, okay. And done. So that feels amazing on my skin. It is so refreshing, it is so cooling. This is exactly what I needed today to just chill out and feel like my best self. Just so you can see and you can get an idea, I've used that much. And I mean, when I first opened this, I thought, wow, this is the smallest container of face mask I've ever seen, which it is small, but a little did go a long way. So I'll be interested to see how long this will last me. I really didn't need that much at all. But for now, I'm gonna go wash this off my hands and then I'm gonna sit back, relax, try and get some zen vibes going and then I'll come back and we can see what has gone on underneath this mask. Okay, it has been 15 minutes. It's about time for me to wash this mask off. It didn't take too long to dry and it is definitely hardened up a little bit the way that clay masks do, but 
unlike the other clay masks that I've tried, since it's not so thick on the skin, I can still move my mouth and use my facial expressions and just generally use my face. You know that feeling sometimes where you put a clay mask on and it is so thick and it gets so tight by the time that it's time to wash it off that you literally can't do anything, like you can't even smile. It's like having extreme Botox. So I like this, it's very convenient to be able to use my face. I also feel like the eucalyptus, as well as being super refreshing and cooling on my skin, also has such a relaxing smell. So I'm kind of loath to wash it off at this point, but I guess I have to. We have to see what we're gonna reveal underneath. <gasps> okay. So I feel like the first thing I should say is obviously there is no product that is just gonna completely transform your face after one application. And with things like this, you need to use them consistently over a few weeks before you really start to notice a difference. But I can give you my first impressions because that is the point of this video. So the first thing I will say is that my skin does feel a lot smoother. The oil has definitely been taken care of. I still have some weird texture going on, but that just is my face. So it might take a little while for us to really get in there and handle the texture situation, but I can feel a difference. But the most noticeable thing is how my skin actually feels and it definitely feels a lot more refreshed. The whole time I had the face mask on, it just had this really wonderful, like cooling, refreshing sensation that just really helped to give my skin a little bit of a pick me up, like a wake up call. So I really enjoyed that. And even now that I've washed it all off, I still have this like clean, tingly feeling, which I'm really enjoying. It says to use it two to three times a week. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll check in with you guys some point maybe in a month or so and let you know how that worked out for me because like I said without using it for a prolonged period you can't really get a good feel for how well it does shrink pores or reduce redness or I even heard something about reducing fine lines and wrinkles can it do this are you a miracle product I hope so. But generally, my first impressions are all very positive. And like I said, my favorite thing about this is that not only did it feel great, not only did it really give my skin a nice lift, but it's environmentally friendly. It's doing good things for the planet. So one last piece of good news. Like I said earlier, I do have a discount code for you guys, and it is Amy Wells. 20. I will leave it down below in the description box along with a link to the Wild Mint Cosmetics website so you can go and check it out for yourself. They have a bunch of really interesting products on there. I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna order myself a bunch of stuff. That's exactly what's happening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe, do all the things, the Instagram, Facebook, everywhere, I'm everywhere. You can find me in all the places. I'll link it down below. But it has been wonderful to spend another Try It Out Tuesday with you guys. Let me know down below what you think I should try out next. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you soon. Bye.